Some startling statistics tonight about the virus in Michigan and where we're seeing most of the cases. Local 4 News has learned Metro Detroit nursing homes account for about half of all deaths. Our business editor Rob Maloney has been working on this story and the tragic numbers that we find in it. And he's got more with us now live. Rob. Yeah, Devin, now, if you ask the state uh, health department, they will not be able to tell you how many deaths there have been in nursing homes across the state. Right now, their number is 716, but they admit that's an inaccurate number. They're trying to get at a good number. So we decided, OK, let's check with some health departments here in the southeast Michigan area and see what the numbers come out to. The numbers are eye popping. Local 4 contacted the Detroit, Wayne, Oakland and Macomb County Health Departments to try and get a handle on Southeast Michigan nursing home deaths. Here's what we found. Detroit alone had more than 10,000 positive cases and 1,263 nursing home COVID deaths. Macomb County, 277 nursing home deaths. Oakland, 459. Wayne, 421. These 2,420 deaths account for just under 50% of all Michigan virus deaths. One not counted in those numbers is 68-year-old Tony Hinojosa of Chesning. He had Parkinson's disease, lived in a Chesning nursing home. He tested positive two weeks ago and died last Thursday. His daughter Jamie tells of a heartbreaking iPad phone chat she had with him just days before he died. He just was yelling and my dad wasn't really a yeller. And he was like, I'm done. I'm not going to keep fighting. And I was begging him to keep fighting. And he was like, I can't. I'm done. Tell your mom I love her. Governor Gretchen Whitmer last week extended her executive order that placed COVID positive patients in the same building with COVID negative patients. It expires Wednesday. She's now considering changing the policy. We want to make sure that it is um, thoughtful, that it's informed by the best data that we have currently. And so um, that's why it's a shorter extension, but we will continue. We're just hoping to have a, an even more um, thoughtful policy. Now, we spoke to Tony's widow as well. She believes it was the policy about putting those patients in the same building that actually ended her husband's life. She's very angry about it. In the meantime, State Senator Pete Lacido put out a uh, note this afternoon saying that he is asking the Attorney General of the State of Michigan and also the U.S. Attorney's Office to do a criminal investigation into this particular policy. He's quite upset. He's going to be talking about it more on Wednesday when the Senate Oversight Committee on COVID has a meeting, and Lansing will certainly be there. Reporting live, Rod Maloney, Local 4. Sure will. All right, Rod. Well, many people feel that right now air travel is not safe. The airline pilot